of human capital development. Nigerian public office holders urge to serve the public interest. Nigerian military conducts maiden march route exercise. And on the foreign scene, gas explosion leaves over 300 people wounded in Kenya. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and welcome to ABS Evening News. My name is Chinyere Ikeoreke. The Deputy Speaker of Anambra State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Chukuma Okoye, says the State Assembly would do everything in its power to support the State Government in its efforts to boost the human capital development of the State. Right Honorable Okoye was speaking during the passing out parade of members of the staff of Operation Clean and Healthy Anambra Ocha Brigade after their one-week training at the NYSC Permanent Orientation Camp Mbauhu and Umaolo in Orca South local government area of the state. We have details. By charging the personnel of Ocha Brigade to justify the confidence reposed in them by delivering on their mandate, Right Honorable Koye added that it is imperative to design and pursue capacity building programs that will enhance the skills and competencies required to drive the government's agenda and vision. We are here to serve in the Anambra to make Anambra livable and prosperous and for all of us. Your duty is to ensure that we have a clean and healthy environment to make sure Anambra State is great. Also speaking, the Commissioner for Environment, Dr. Felix Odimegu, installed the command for their partnership with the ministry and asked the staff of the agency to see the training as a turning point in the collective pursuit of a clean, green, planned, and sustainable Anambra and charge them on continuous learning and improvement in order to set a shining example for others to follow in shaping the future of the environment. Basic knowledge and skills that you've acquired and remember your daily actions, however small, contribute significantly to a very cleaner a much more healthier Anambra state. The managing director of Wacha Brigade, Comrade Celestine Anere, who said that the training was first in the history of the command, explained that it is aimed at equipping the officers with the requisite skills to ensure that they enforce law and order in the state. Because any Wacha Brigade member wearing uniform and is collecting bribes to compromise the job of Wacha Brigade, at that point he's collecting it becomes a town, and we're going to treat them like towns. We will catch them, we will expel them from the brigade, and treat them like towns. We, we are going to try as much as we can, but we're also saying that Indian members should learn how to keep their surroundings clean. And then the government will do what they are supposed to do. Earlier in an address of welcome, the deputy managing director of Wacha Brigade, Mr. Anthony Abwefne, thanks Governor Soludo for his continuous support to the command and reaffirmed their commitment to help in eradicating courtism, touting political thuggery, illicit drug trafficking, among other social vices in the state. The one-week training came to an end with the inspection of guard of honor mounted by the officers of the agency, by the deputy speaker, Right Honorable Koye, the managing director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, Sachido Obidegu, why parades and head count form the high points of the event. The operatives of the agency immediately after the training stormed an illegal sand mining site at Nibo Mauro Road, where they dislodged the workers who took on their heels immediately after citing the men of the brigade from Omaolo Mbauhu in Oka South local government area. Chibu Zobidiki, ABS News. Public office holders in Nigeria have been asked to prioritize public interest over personal gains and be honest transparent and accountable in various public offices they are occupying for all-round development and progress of the country. The Federal Commissioner representing South East Zone at the Code of Conduct Bureau Board, Barrister Dave Umano, gave the instruction during the opening of a two-day sensitization workshop on strict compliance 
with asset declaration and code of conduct for public office holders in Oka by Code of Conduct Bureau in collaboration with Anambra State Governments. Correspondent Emmanuel Okunko has stated. The participants at the event were state commissioners, permanent secretaries, directors from various ministries, chairmen and members of state government-owned agencies, special advisors and senior special assistants. The federal commissioner, Barrister Omano, reminded the participants that as public officers, they are expected to comply with the code of conduct for public officers as prescribed in the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended and other laws related thereto, informing them that the Bureau has embarked on assets verification of all declarations made by public officers and that soon they will be invited by various teams handling the exercise. Participants are once again reminded that as public officers, you are expected to comply with the protocol as prescribed in the 1999 position of the Federal Law of the and other laws related there to Presenting a paper on Code of Conduct for Public Officers, the Director, Education Department, Code of Conduct Bureau Headquarters, Abuja, Mr. Daniel Okafor, identified poor resource management as the major hindrance to Nigeria's ability to measure up with other countries of the world in development and progress, saying that the Code of Conduct for Public Officers is aimed at ensuring transparency in public service, eradication of corrupt practices, and ensuring effective service delivery by public officers in the interest of the masses. We already don't know what to give account of their stewards this time that they don't know what. And as public officers, we should also be conscious of the fact that we are there to serve the public. And we should be attentive to them. In a presentation on practical guide to the completion of the assets declaration form CB1, CCB1, the Director, Code of Conduct Bureau, Anambra State, Mr. Michael Okose advised public officers to be careful while declaring their assets and to be sincere while filling the declaration form. As according to him, one can be prosecuted if the Code of Conduct Bureau discovers that what the public officer filled is false, saying that the assets declaration form is a must fill by public officers. Mr. Okose explained that officers can pick up the form from any code of conduct bureau office near them, handle it as a secret document, personally fill and submit the form to the code of conduct bureau office. In Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo, reporting for ABS News. Meanwhile, a two-day sensitization workshop organized by the Federal Code of Conduct Bureau in collaboration with the Anambra State Government in Oka for public officers have ended with a call on public office holders to ensure forms of corruption in their service to the people for the betterment of the Nigerian nation. The event had in attendance commissioners from various ministries of the state, permanent secretaries, directors, chairmen and members of board of the state government-owned agencies, special advisors, senior special assistants to the Anambra State Governor, among others. Again, Emmanuel Okonkwo tells us more. Federal Commissioner representing the Southeast Zone at the Code of Conduct Bureau Board, Barrister Dave Omano, reminded public officers that assets declaration is mandatory for all public officers and failure to comply attracts punishment as it is among other Code of Conduct for public officers enshrined in the Nigeria Constitution and disclosed that the agency will soon embark on compliance enforcement exercise across the country. Barrister Omano commended the Anambra State Government for taking the issue of code of conduct for public officers seriously, which according to him is evident in the massive attendance of concerned persons at the event, encouraging the participants and other public office holders to act on the teachings during the workshop in their own interest and that of the society. Condemning the height of corruption in Nigeria, the Director of Education Department of Code of Conduct Bureau Headquarters, Abuja, Mr. Daniel Okafo, regretted that jobs are no longer given on merit in Nigeria public service as available vacancies are shared to politicians to fill up, which they usually end up filling with their relatives, thereby leaving those from poor background unemployed even when they are the most qualified for the positions, calling for total sanitation 
democratization of Nigeria public service and social systems in the overall interest of the country and asked public officers to refuse negative influence of any kind, avoid tribal and religious sentiments and do the right thing at all times. Please, on his part, the Code of Conduct Bureau, Anambra State Director, Mr. Michael Okose, said that public officers are not banned from owing a business, but only prohibited from taking part in the running of the business, and noted that all the activities of the Code of Conduct Bureau are aimed at restoring and retaining the dignity of public service. There's a strong synergy, a strong synergy between these four agencies. We share information. In their various interviews, some of the participants, including the special assistant to Governor Chuomo Saludo on media, Mr. Dominic Okabue, and his senior special assistant to the governor on media counterparts, Mr. Chidi Ebere Obika, observed that the assets declaration by public officers, if taken seriously by relevant authorities, will go a long way in curbing bribery and corruption in Nigeria public service. If you are open enough to declare these things, it will curb corruption. It will greatly help in checkmating corruption in the society. It's a normal thing for us. And uh, today, actually, helped me to know better ways of filling the form subsequently. In Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonwo, reporting for ABS News. The Transition Committee Chairman of Oka North Local Government Area, Mr. Fengod Anago, has restated the commitment of his administration to improving standard of education in the council area. Honorable Anago also declared that he would do everything within his power to protect and promote law and order in Oka North Local Government Area. We have details. In the burial mass, in honor of his mother, late Mrs. Florence Udafa Nago, at St. Stephen's Anglican Church, Mbaku, the Oka North Major, while explaining the essence of giving his late mother a decent burial, in total compliance with the Anambra State Burial Law, noted that people in position of leadership must lead by example. He said that he has learned a lot about leadership principles from Governor Chukuma Soludo, who, despite all the resources at his disposal, chose to give his late father a decent and modest funeral devoid of ostentatious display of affluence and called on indigents of Anambra State to always comply with the state burial law. Having used the template of Governor Charles Tukuma Soludo, with that, we have saved a lot of money from the, the burial as it used to be. So now, we will now channel the money, we take the money as a way of giving back to the society. According to Honorable Anago, families burying their dead once in accordance with the Anambra State Burial Law would not only promote decency, moderation, law and order, but would also save time and cost. He declared that the resources saved from the decent and modest funeral ceremony of his late mother would be deployed to other productive and impactful ventures such as renovation of schools in the council area, among other community services begging for attention. During the one-day burial ceremony of late Mrs. Anago, guests were served with Anambra-made foods and palm wine. The Anambra State Deputy Governor, Dr. Onyeka Chukibezim, Speaker of Anambra State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Sumto Chukudeze, his Deputy, Right Honorable Chukubo Okoye, Chief of Staff to the Governor, Mr. Ernest Ezadjoe, Anambra State Apuga Chairman, Sir Ifato Biokoye, Commissioner for Homeland Affairs, Honorable Chikodele Anara, Commissioner for Local Government and Community Affairs, Honorable Tony Collins Mwabungwane, we are among top government functionaries that attended the event. On national matters, the Nigerian Army 81 Division has conducted a march route across Lagos and Ogun states as its maiden physical efficiency test for 2024. The division spokesperson, Lieutenant Colonel B.C. Ayeni, told newsmen in Lagos that the march was to get the troops alert physically, mentally, and medically for the year. Ayeni further said that the fitness work, which the Army called March Route, heads simultaneously in Ikorodu. Ikeja, Victoria Island, and Abeokuta. 
On the foreign scene, a huge gas blast in the Kenyan capital Nairobi has killed at least three people and injured nearly 300. A government spokesperson said the lorry carrying gas exploded in Embakasi district at about 11 p.m. local time, igniting a huge ball of fire. Housing, businesses and cars were damaged with videos showing a huge blast raising close to block of the flats. The area has been condoled off and an investigation is on the way into the cause of the fire. In sport, Premier League clubs spent only £96.2 million on bringing in players during the general window. This is the lowest winter spending in three years. Clubs have become more careful with how much splash or how much they splash the cash with the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules, else PSR, cutting down on spending power. Last year, the Premier League clubs spent a record-breaking £780 million during the January window. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television or Car. On X at ABS Radio TV. On Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. The main points again. Deputy Speaker of Anambra State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Koi, has restated the importance of capital human development. Nigerian public office holders have been urged to serve the public interest. On national matters, Nigerian military has conducted Medin March Roots exercise. And on the foreign scene, gas explosion leaves over 300 people wounded in Kenya. To end the news, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround and maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Thanks for watching. My name is Chinyere Ikureke. Good night.